So Sam, we're talking health and safety in schools. Um, in the business world, I think we're quite, we're quite attuned to looking at it. What does it mean in an education context? Well, it's, it's, it's equally as important um, as, in, you know, the settings that, you, that you've, you've described. And, you know, given just the sheer volume of children and adults that you have, particularly, you know, on, on site, um, it's absolutely crucial to, to really consider all aspects of, of, of health and safety. And it's, it's, a, it's a really, really huge, huge topic. And it's a much maligned uh, topic, you know, people tend to sort of go, oh, that's health and safety, Rotate. and they, they can be, yeah, and they can be quite flippant. But then actually, it's one of the most important parts of that of of that whole policy structure mm -hmm. and practice structure because it's not only um, ensuring the sites fit, you know, fit for purpose. It's protecting the children, it's protecting the staff that are working there, and it's also protecting the visitors and volunteers that come onto the site. It's also looking at the safety when you're going off-site mm. to, to different different places. So it's 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 really, really crucial. And of course, you've got legislation um, for certain aspects, which is, is you know, it's, it's statutory legislation, it's a mandatory requirement. Um, things like, you know, fire safety management, um, having your fire safety management plan, your critical incident plan, um, all these, these sort of things. And these are really things that, it, you know, you, you do have to take the time, particularly your critical incident planning. You have to take the time to think in such and such a situation, uh, how are we going to manage that? If uh, we had to move everybody off site and we had to do it straight away, have we got a plan in terms of how we would manage that? If there's something that happens that attracts press and media attention to the school, how do we manage that? Um, you know, so it's it's a much much wider topic than I think most people would think um, in terms of. And but but then again, it can go really down to the day to day. Um, you know, in you know, space is a, a premium in schools, all schools, you know, and, and it's thinking about, the, the, you know, do I stack stuff up there? How do I access resources from high shelves? So it's it's such a huge topic, um, but it's it's absolutely essential that, you know, we, we understand what uh, those requirements are. I suppose that when you think about it, if you, if you had a few hundred people in an office building, Logically, you'd expect all that to be in place, but a school is operating as a medium-sized business, really, isn't it? So actually, just that amount of people in one space still needs that focus. Absolutely, and sometimes it's 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 um, for me this training gives the 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 grounding and the knowledge that then schools can use to think about well, how would we manage that. And sometimes, uh, I mean, I was, uh, a few years ago, I was in a school and I was actually visiting the school doing um, some work with the senior leadership and they thought um, there was a, a gas leak. And so they evacuated everybody out the building, they called the fire brigade, they were on their way, we had the children out, everybody's in the playground, and then a van arrived to with a delivery for the kitchen. And that was the point where they realised nobody had actually gone to the kitchen staff to tell them to get out the building. Oh. And it's, it's you know, and I mean, it sounds, you know, you just think, oh, that sounds ludicrous. But actually, there was just nothing in place that prompted anybody from any other environment to go and say to those people, we need to, you know, we need to evacuate yeah. the building because they couldn't sound the audible alarm. So it's... It's, it's just thinking through some of those situations and, you know, I mean, you can't, obviously you can't go on forever saying, but what if this happens, what if that happens? But I think there are, there are some really sound principles that if you can, if you have the training and you get that under your belt, you can actually really apply them to most situations. And that's hopefully what we're achieving with this module. Thank you, Sam.